It's second down. Nunes is the quarterback. They just converted a big third on a moment ago for 12 yards. Now try to punch it in. Stephon Taylor. Still no signal from the officials. It'll be marked just short of the touchdown. Again, unbalanced to the right. Lewis Nix out of the game. Schwanky in. Extra tackle to the right side. Full back with a good block. And then Taylor just drops that pad level. He's so strong. You can talk about play action all you want, but I think David Shaw's looking at this thing and saying, okay, I got two downs to get it in from inside the one. And Lewis Nix, who had to leave for a play after being injured, is back on the field. Inside the one. Third down and goal. Taylor. Stopped it. They're going to review this now. The initial hit's well behind the line of scrimmage, but Taylor continues to move and twist. He's got to stay with this because now he's going to turn and try to reach the ball over. None of us know when that whistle blows, but he continues to move the entire time. And in Jackson, number two, the corner came in from behind, and at this point it looks like no chance to watch. He's still in a pile of bodies and still Loses the ball to the end. the ball, too, though. Yep. Carlo Calabrese, right here, looks like no shot. Now watch him turn. He's on top of nothing but bodies. Now he rolls. The ball comes loose, and at that point, I can't tell if it's over or not before he loses the football. Meanwhile, the victory march is playing at Notre Dame Stadium. They have cleared the field after the celebration. At this point, Tom, I know at the very end he turned his body on top of a bunch of bodies right here and, and turned, but he loses the ball, and I can't tell when he loses it. Did any part of the ball cross the plane of the goal line? Here's a good look at it right here, I hope. At that point... He's still on top of bodies, and it's really close. Is it conclusive enough to overturn is the question. That last one was really interesting, that last replay. That's the one they're going to look at. I want to see that last replay one more time if we can. Give this kid credit, man. He keeps churning. He's on top of bodies. We, we can see the goal line underneath, and here's the reach. Right there, he stretches the ball. But I don't know. It, it, to me, it looks like he almost gets that ball across before he loses it. And remember, all it's got to be is the tip of the football, not the entire ball. If the whistle blew, it wouldn't matter, but apparently the whistle hasn't blown because they're allowing the replay. Notre Dame, of course, into celebration mode. And the side judge, who had the best angle at it, ruled he was stopped. It's at his hands now. Yeah. It's up in the replay official booth. And this is a hard one. 
There is no excessive celebration foul because the teams thought that the game was over. The ruling on the field, in fact, stands as called. The game is now over. Stands as called means no conclusive evidence. It was a goal line stand for the ages. Overtime against Stanford. It even had to go to the replay booth on that one, and it was a close call. And then Manti and the Irish defense with the celebration. Wow. An amazing performance once again by that man and that defense.